Welcome to another edition of the Mizzou Minute, and welcome to my living room. I'm Todd Palmer, beat writer for the Kansas City Star, and we're going to talk today a little bit about the SEC East Division race. Missouri opens conference play at 6.30 Saturday against Kentucky. That game will be at Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky, and it'll be televised on the SEC Network. It's a little bit of an interesting situation in my mind because Kentucky is already 1-1 one one in conference. They won at South Carolina two weeks ago. They lost at home in a heartbreaker against Florida last week. But they've already been in the conference fire a little bit, whereas Missouri has played Southeast Missouri at Arkansas State and Connecticut. This is going to be a step up in competition for Missouri. I expect the Wildcats will have the best defense Missouri's seen, although Connecticut's was pretty good. I also think that uh, Boom Williams, who's fifth in the SEC in rushing right now, is going to be the best running back Missouri's seen. So from that standpoint, this will be the biggest challenge of the season. I also think that Missouri's a little bit better on offense, a little bit better on defense, and has a proven track record of, of winning on the road these last couple of years. They've won 11 straight on the road, including eight in a row in SEC play. So I, I still think Missouri has the advantage in this game. Kentucky's one of two teams, along with Tennessee, that has never beaten Missouri since they joined the conference in 2012. So I, I give Missouri an edge in this one. And I think it's important that they get off to a good start in terms of the SEC East race. I see four teams as capable of winning this division this year. The first is obviously Georgia. I think Georgia was the best team on paper coming into the season. I picked them to win the SEC East. I've seen nothing through these first three weeks to make me think that Georgia isn't the best team in the SEC East. Now, I think Georgia was arguably the best team in the SEC East uh, last year as well, but obviously they didn't win the division. So funny things can happen. Georgia's had a tendency to stub its toe. Last year it was the cocktail party against Florida, but it's happened in previous seasons as well under Mark Richt. I don't know that you can count on this Georgia team, though, to stub their toe like the ones in the past have. I think this is a really, really good Georgia team, maybe even a top five team, a team that might even be capable of making it to the college football playoff. So I've still got them number one, and I think that they're a notch above the rest of the SEC East. Missouri, though, I think, headlines that second tier. Look, they've won back-to-back titles. They've proven they can win close games. They've proven they can win on the road. They've proven they can pull games out of the fire in the fourth quarter and that they can finish games in a very tough conference. So I think that track record makes you feel pretty good about Missouri's chances, Uh, especially when you consider that uh, Florida and Tennessee both have to come to Missouri. And those are the other two teams that I think are, are in the mix here as potential candidates to win this, this division. I, I'm not, I'm still not as sold on Tennessee as a lot of people are. Uh, they impressed me for three quarters against Oklahoma. Um, you know, just watching the highlights really of that game, but obviously, you know, they ultimately give that one away at home against the Sooners and they, their track record the last several years suggests that they're not a team that's ready to vault into that elite championship level uh, you know, status on the field. So until Tennessee shows me something to, to that, that says otherwise, I still put them a notch behind Missouri when it comes to that conference race. The team that I really find interesting, though, is the Florida Gators. They're in their first year under uh, Jim McElwain. I look at them and I see a little bit of the same formula that Missouri used to win the title last year in the SEC East. They've got a really good defense, and, and they've got some pieces on offense They don't always put it together, but you can tell that when it clicks, they can be formidable. They can, and and that they can do enough to win football games. They did enough to win at Kentucky. It'll be interesting to see how they do against Tennessee this weekend. But I think they're a team that that's capable of putting themselves in the mix. Uh, You know, and look, they proved last year, even in you know as Will Muschamp's uh, career at Florida was kind of being swept away. They proved last year that they can beat a team like Georgia. They have that kind of talent. So I think those are the four teams you look at. I still think Georgia and Missouri finish 1-2 in the conference when it's all said and done. But Missouri needs to get off to a good start. They can't afford to give Georgia any cushion because I don't think Georgia is going to let them off the hook like they did last year. Be sure to visit KansasCity.com for more on the Missouri Tigers as they prepare for Kentucky on Saturday.